Hey everybody, there are so many times that I make a fabulous recipe and then I don't write it down or I don't record it. So this time I'm just going to record it and we'll see if it's fabulous or not. It's tomato soup. Now I just briefly looked at a recipe just to find out what was in it. So this is kind of just my own doing and uh, no measurements or anything, but I thought I'd show you what I was doing. So I'm kind of boiling tomatoes to take off the skin. I've already got it started here in my crock pot. I put some celery in there that I had canned, so I put half a pint in and then two small onions in the crock pot. Alrighty, my tomatoes have just started to boil, so now I'm just going to turn the fire off and show you how I peel them. I don't have a de -seeder or a meal, which is something that I'd really like to have. So I'm just going to kind of take the seeds out as much as possible with just my knife or hand. These are hot, so if your hands are a little tender, <clears throat> you might not want to do these with your bare hands or you can always put that tomato, run it under cold water for just a moment. And that also stops the cooking. Not very many seeds in that one at all. And just doing that left a lot of seeds. <clears throat> All right, so that's what I'm going to continue doing. And I got the small ones in there as well. All right, now I'm ready to do the little ones. See how the seeds come out? That's really good. All right, it's been an hour and a half, and oh, it's starting to just smell so good. It's still not quite soft enough to use the immersion blender on. So. I'm gonna give it another hour on high, and then I'm gonna turn it down on low. And then that's when we'll add the sugar and the butter and salt and pepper. Yay, and maybe some clear gel. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to look in the cabinet and see if I have any. <laughs> Okay, it's been another, it's been 45 minutes. So I'm getting ready to put in a tablespoon of Himalayan salt, a tablespoon and a half of sugar, a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of garlic salt with parsley, and some, about a, 
almost a half a tablespoon or so of cracked pepper. And then I'm going to put in some butter. Get this stirred in there real good. I'm going to set my crock pot on low. And I'm going to be gone for about 45 minutes. So when I get back, I'm going to run the immersion blender through this and see what we got. It's looking good, smelling good. John said when he came in, smells like tomato soup or tomato sauce. Are you working with tomatoes? And I said, yep, I sure am. All right, let's take a look at this again. That is looking so good. Now it is a little juicy because I'm gonna be adding uh, some cream. I love evaporated milk in mine. so. I'm going to strain that, most of that juice out of there. Alright, make sure I turn it off. Alright, now we'll get the immersion blender. Anytime you're immersion blending hot food, make sure that it is down before you turn it on. <laughs> That is so <laughs> much better than store-bought. I can't believe it. My very first time making tomato soup and it turned out just perfect. All right, let me get a little bit of evaporated milk on there and then I'm ready to eat. I wanted you to see that pretty color before I put any uh, evaporated milk in it. Alrighty, I guess I'm out of uh, pet's milk, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of vitamin D milk. So excited. Lord, I just want to tell you thank you for the food that I'm about to eat, Lord, and just thank you for providing it. And just thank you for uh, just putting little, little hints and things in my mind, Lord, that I can uh, actually do these things. And you helped it to grow in the garden, Lord, and you you caused the rain and the sunshine to be upon the tomatoes, God, and the onions. And Lord, I just want to thank you for that. I'm going to do want to ask, Lord, that you be with John tonight as he's, he's just been really tired for such a long time. God, just pray that you be with his energy. And God, there's a couple of people that I'd like to pray for uh, with cancer. God, uh, my cousin Cindy, and uh, this be another round of cancer for her god and i ask that you just be with her and and lord if it be your will i just ask that you that you heal her body god and i also think about a lady that it's in our church lord and i just ask that you um just touch her heart and you touch her body lord as um she's also going through a lot of pain and and lord i know i know that you allow us to go through pain lord too for for different reasons lord and i just thank you for that and lord uh I thank you. I thank you for the pain of, of my own. That uh, that Lord, that I have a body that can feel that can feel all the pain. And God, I ask that it be in your will, Lord. If it be in your will, God, I just ask that you calm that down a little bit, and, and uh, that I may be able to do some of the things that I that I like to do around my house or around my yard, God. I want to ask that you be with my mom, Lord, as she's dealing with a spider bite. God, uh, that seems to have infected her her body, God. And I, we know that you can just heal that and just take that away. God, I ask that you be with uh, Rita, God. Uh, she's a very special lady that has been on our hearts. And Lord especially has been on my husband's heart, God. 
he prays for her daily. And Lord, we just ask your will on that, God, because because we know that what we're praying for her is in your will. God, I love you, and I thank you for all that you provide. And I do want to ask this in your name. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Let's eat. John's laying down right now, so he's not going to have supper with me. But he will um, get up and go to church. And uh, he's, just really, he's just been really, really tired. I don't know how you guys eat your tomato soup. So I'm going to eat it with grilled cheese and... I'm just going to slap it at a piece of bread. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is one of those fantastic, <laughs> fabulous recipes that I am so glad that I picked up the camera and decided to uh, tape it. You guys go out and enjoy life. Mm.